Old Alabama Gardener here. Today we're going to talk about growing okra and doing a little cooking. While this video is primarily about growing uh, okra, at the end of the video I want to show you how to prepare a meal, a very good meal, uh, using uh, things that I have canned in jars. So I encourage you to watch all the way through to the end of the video and look at the uh, look at the things that we take out of a jar and make our make a very nice uh, dinner or supper. Okra seeds are large, so I can easily put one in each soil block. Cover them with about a half inch of soil, then water them well and watch them grow. Now I'm going to add some triple 13 fertilizer, but notice how I put it around the edge of the pot and not directly on the roots of the plant. Then I'm going to plant some okra. It's in gallon pots. There's a little tiny, little tiny bloom right there, and there's a bloom right there. So this stuff is ready to grow. Got to get it in the ground. I'm going to set these plants three feet apart, so I'm marking a spot where I will dig a hole. Now I'm going to walk down the row, put a handful of triple 13 fertilizer in each hole. Now I'm putting a little bit of dirt over the fertilizer in the bottom of the hole so that the plant roots are not sitting directly on the fertilizer. Okay, this is a cutworm. Notice its tendency to curl. That's the way it wraps itself around the plant. I'm going to insert a little twig right down beside the stem of the plant and then when the cutworm wraps itself around this plant it will think that it's too hard to eat and it will go on to something else. And this is the reward for all your hard work and from planting all the way to picking. I'm not going to just cook okra. I'm actually going to make dinner and it's going to come out of these four jars. Here's the okra and you can see on the lid that I canned it in July of 2011 and it's still good. Now here's canned chicken thighs. I did that back in August. And this is some vegetables that was left over when I was canning beef vegetable soup. So I just put them in a jar and canned them also. And we'll open a jar of beet pickle that I canned back in the spring. To bread our okra, we're going to mix half flour and half cornmeal. You want to just drain the liquid off of the okra 
and you can rinse it if you want to. I usually don't. Add the okra to the flour or cornmeal mixture and shake it around good to get your okra completely coated. Now let's get our chicken and gravy started. And let's open this jar of vegetables and get our potatoes out so we can start making our mashed potatoes. I'm going to put the potatoes in a bowl and then into the microwave to warm them up so that I can mash them. Mix a little bit of flour with some of the liquid from the jar and add this to your chicken in order to thicken it and make your gravy. Now let's get our okra fried up. So here's our mashed potatoes. And now some chicken and gravy. A few days ago we was cooking Christmas butter beans, so here's some of those. A nice slice of our beet pickle, some of our previously canned and fried okra, a half of a deviled egg, and a wedge of cornbread. All right, here's that plate we made. <clears throat> First, I'm going to try the okra. There's a big piece, and I'm going to use my fingers. Mmm. That's good. Mmm-hmm. Wow. Let's have another one. That's good stuff. Let's have a bite of the mashed potatoes that we took out of a jar and the gravy. Here's that right there. Mmm. Mm. Oh, 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 that's so good. You know what I'm going to say now, don't you? Here, I'm going to show you. Look at that. I wish I could give you this bite of okra, but I can't. Mmm. Remember, that was canned in 2011. Oh boy, how about some more mashed potatoes and gravy? Mmm. Remember that jar of beets that I opened? That is so good. If you like beet pickles, you'll love that one. I got a recipe in there, a video on how to make it. Oh, I'm about to forget about the chicken. There's the chicken come out of the jar. Mmm. -hmm. You know, it's not much better than chicken and gravy, mashed potatoes. Oh, you know what? There's some of the big butter beans that we was working with the other day. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. Have some more okra. And I got a deviled egg. A little bit of deviled egg. Mmm. You know what I'm going to say now. I wish I could share this with you. I wish I'd give you a bite. But I can't do it. You have to get out there in the garden and grow your own stuff. Can it. Be ready. Oh, that's good. That's a good meal. Mostly out of a jar, too. Chicken came out of a jar. Okra came out of a jar. Mashed potatoes came out of a jar. The beets came out of a jar. The butter beans came out of a jar.